Regina, how are you doing? It's your girl Grace aka Face Visit here. And today I'm coming at you with a review. Yes, a review and a quick demo of the Juvia's Place. Saharan palette, which is the new baby of the family, the new edition. Not so new now, it did come out quite a while back. Um, I'm not exactly sure when it came out, but anyway, it's the newest addition to the collection. Um, so now I have the whole Juvia's Place collection, which is absolutely fab. The only, oh, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> The only one I actually paid, um, bought here in the UK um, from one of the um, distributors, so I got this from Lima Beauty, is this one. And boy did I pay an arm and a leg for it, Lord Jesus. But all these, um, these three I actually bought from a Juvia's Place website. So now I have the full collection, Divas. Looky, looky, I'm so excited. <laughs> yeah. I love these palettes. They are just so fabulous, well pigmented and oh, just beautiful. But um, you know, today it's about the Saharan palette. I've already done a review on the other three. If you want to check those out, I would put a link in the description box below of that video. But today is dedicated to the new baby of the family, the Saharan palette. Okay, so. This is an absolutely gorgeous palette and you know, can we just clap for Juvia's Place, you know, ba, 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 for the, you know, the um, artistry, you know, I do love the creativity, you know, um, the, the ladies that they put on the back of their, of their palettes, you know, it's always something beautiful and you know, it's very um, authentic. I don't know, I can't describe it, but they just, it's just, apart from, you know, they just look like beautiful, strong black African women, you know, and if you look at all the other ones, and they, they've all got different, um, you know, these ones are carrying what we call calabash um, on their heads, you know, and looking fabulous with it, you know, this one looks like a, a, an Egyptian queen, you know, it's just beautiful. Um, this one too, same as, uh, as, as Nubian 1, you know, same because this is Nubian 2, I guess they have to have the same. And then you have the, um, the masquerade and, you know, this one is again slightly different, but, you know, all very, very unique in their own, you know, it's just so beautiful. It really does represent Africa and I, and I do like it and I'm glad um, to be able to support this brand. Um, they, are, they are an indie brand, which means an independent brand. You know, they're not one of those big um, companies that have millions of, you know, pounds or, or dollars, you know, to just, you know, keep churning out these things. But, you know, they're on top of their game. They're doing well. So, you know, a round of applause for Juvia's Place. So, anywho, back to the Saharan palette. So, this is what it looks like. Of course, it has this film thing majiggy. They all do. Um, but this is what the inside looks like. Let me move back because I noticed that I get too close to the camera and then it gets all blurry and I don't realise it until after. But it's got um, 12 um, eyeshadow colours um, and let me see if I can... Can I read them all out? Probably not. <laughs> um, I'll try. So we have... Um, this one is called... And I'll pronounce it the way it's supposed to be called, pronounced. I think I'm pronouncing it right when I say Sokoto, because that's a place in Nigeria. And we have Wadabi. This gold one is Wadabi, which is what I've got in the inner corner of my eye. And then I've got Bororo, or Bororo. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. Bororo is <laughs> Baroro, and then I've got um, Kia, which I can't wait to use. Looks like a beautiful forest green colour right there. I've got um, Zoya, which is this one right here. Um, I've got Iman. I understand this one is a... I, I will be doing um, swatches anyway. Um, like it's a dual chrome eyeshadow. I've got um, Jamelia. This orange one right here, this burnt orange one. I've got um, Senegal, which is the one on my lid, this gorgeous gold. 
um, and then charred is this black one which is not exactly matte I think it's got a bit of shimmer in it or I could be wrong I'll swatch it in a minute I've got Katsina which is this one Lulu and Fula so that's Lulu and that's Fula and those are the 12 um, shades in this palette now uh, this palette to me is like I said it's a nice palette it's beautiful it's got some unique colors but um, personally I don't think it's a color that you can it's a palette that you can use on its own I feel like you would always need to um, bring in another palette for example for your trans transition colors because this palette has only got um, three matte shades no four I beg your pardon it's got this bright red it's got this uh, which is Sokoto it's got Jamila which is this bright orange um, it's got Chad which I don't believe is okay it is a matte black I beg your pardon I thought it had a bit of shimmer I'm mixing it up with another black I mean one of excuse me I'm mixing it up with another black in one of my um, other palettes so that is a, a, a matte black actually it's actually a really matte black that's called Chad and then Katsina is another um, matte color. So, mm, depending on the look you create, you might be able to just use this palette. Um, but if you're creating a look that needs for your crease to be well blended out, you might need to reach for one of the other uh, palettes. You know, in this case, I reached for the Nubian. Um, to help out, I could have reached for any of the others. I could have reached out for the Nubian 2 or the Masquerade. They both have, um, you know, nice matte, neutral, like transition shades, um, warm transition shades in them that I could have used. But, you know, I wanted to use something that was almost the same size as this. <laughs> so I stuck with the Nubian. But yeah, I think that's the only thing about this palette is that. Um, Depending on the look you want to create, you might need to reach for another palette that has um, some transition shades to help you out in creating the look that you want. But if you're just trying to create a smoky look or something like that, then you might be able to, to, to get away you know, with this palette. Like you can create a smoky, a nice smoky with this forest green and then, you know, just use that in the crease like if you don't want to use too many colors but um, or you could use this one and that in the crease you could use Katsina and Jamelia in the crease and then this all over your lid to create a lovely green uh, smoky eye you know or you could create a half smoky eye with a black um, in the outer V so yeah it is possible to create a look um, using just this palette however the, the, for most looks, there's a likeliness that you would reach for another palette that has more um, matte transition shades to help you out. So that's the only thing um, with this palette that I would say is maybe a, a maybe it would give it a nine out of ten, you know, because of that. But all in all, it's a good palette, um, well pigmented. It swatches well, just like all the other Juvia's Place palettes. Um, you know, I think it's a good palette. I totally recommend this palette. I think it's fabulous, you know, and I, um, it's well pigmented, just like all the other ones. But yeah, you might need another palette um reach another i mean it just depends on it uh, on you as a person me as a person being a makeup artist i have tons of makeup so it doesn't bother me that i have to reach for another palette to you know use some transition shades however if you're not a makeup artist and you just um you, you know your makeup is for you and you don't want to spend too much money on eyeshadow palettes um, then you might not necessarily need this, um, you know, so you might just want to get it because you want it. But if, you're, if your funds are limited, then maybe get one of the other palettes, maybe the Nubian 2 or the, um, or the Nubian, depending on your preference. If you're more of a neutral girl, then the Nubian is a friend. Um, if you want a bit of uh, both, um, you know, neutral and bold, then you can either get the Nubian 2 or the Masquerade palette. And those ones have bigger pans in them. So you're getting more bulk, 
more um, product for your for your buck, okay? But um, but yeah, that is that's it in a nutshell, divas. There's not really much to say um, about this palette. Another thing is that this one, the eyeshadows are the same as the eyeshadows in the Nubian one, which are the size of you know Mac Makeup Geek um, eyeshadow. Even though this box, this package is slightly bigger than this one. The eyeshadows, I think, are exactly the same size, so they're a bit smaller um, compared to the Nubian 2 and the Masquerade palette, which I will quickly show you now. As you can see, these ones have, their eyeshadows are bigger sizes, they're more the size of the um, Suva Beauty, um, Makeup Forever, um, you know, those kind of uh, sizes look at how big these are so you know you you probably get more I don't know more for your money if you go for for one of these um you know bigger um, palettes you know the Nubian 2 or the masquerade palette look at that look at that the masquerade this is the masquerade if you look at it on t the first top two rows are more bold whereas you have your more neutral colors um, and then on the third and fourth row so you know this is a really really good palette to get um, and also if you if, if you look at this um, uh, Nubian 2 the same thing um, though this is more mixed but you know it's got your neutrals like this and this and this and this and this you know and this is a nice um, one for the crease and out of V and then it's got these darker ones and then you know it, you know it's just got a nice they've got a nice mix of colors so decide which kind of a girl you are are you a bold girl are you more of a neutral girl do you want a bit of both then decide but as for the Saharan palette like I said you know the colors are more bold it's got a pot a few pops of neutrals in there but like I said you might need the help of another palette to create a look or if it's a simple enough look you know, and also dependent on your skin tone, you might just be able to get away with just using this. I've used it on my eyes today, but you will see in my demo that I had to reach for the um, Nubian one to also help me out. Okay, so now I'm going to do a, a quick, um, I'm going to do some swatches quickly and then we're going to go into the um, demo slash tutorial, okay? So here are the swatches of all 12 um, shades, Diva. And as you can see, they are popping just like all the other um, Juvia's Place palettes. I mean, when it comes to pigmentation, Juvia's Place are always on top of their game. So as you can see, these colors are popping, Diva. So they are definitely worth buying if you can afford them. I mean, look at these colors, absolutely gorgeous. And I was wrong about um, that white color right there, it is not um, a dual chrome, it's just a, a, a shimmery, um, almost silvery whitey color, you know, um, uh, shade, and it's, it's really bold. So yeah, so these are the um, swatches, Divas. Um, I've just swatched these um, on my finger, by using my fingers, not a brush, I've just swatched them directly. I haven't applied any... Um, uh, primer. I've just swatched them on my bare skin just like that and this is what they look like so you can imagine these with um, primer and even on my eyes um, I didn't feel the need to go in with additional primer <coughs> excuse me um, when I applied that lid color I just applied it and it popped um, even though I then decided to add a bit more um, fix plus on the brush to you know make it pop even more but anyway I'm talking too much divas um, let's get into the demo so that you can see how these colors actually perform on the eyes
But yeah, this is it, Divas. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like I said, I hope um, this has helped inform your decision as to whether to get this palette or not. Like I said, is it a necessity? Absolutely not. Um, but, you know, do you want to, should you get it? Mm, I'll probably lean on the side to say yes, if you can afford it. Only if you can afford it, though. Don't, don't break the bank just because, you know, you don't have to have it. But if you can afford it, it's nice to have in your collection. It's got a few, you know, nice colours there that are unique to this palette. So, you know, that are not in the other um, palettes. Though similar colours do exist in the other palettes. But these colours are quite unique um, to this Saharan palette. So, yeah, if you can afford it, I'd say go ahead and get it. It's a, it's a nice palette. And just like all the other Juvia Space palettes, um, it's very blendable. The colours are popping, well pigmented. You know, they pop on the lid, as you can see. Yeah, so there you have it, my divas. Um, thank you so much, once again, for visiting my channel. Um, if you've enjoyed this video, do go ahead and go ahead and give it a thumbs up also um don't forget to click that subscription button that subscribe button go ahead and click it please and help a sister out also go ahead and share this video share it on all your social media networks i'd really appreciate that i'm trying to grow my channel um so you know i'd really appreciate any help i can get so yeah do go ahead and click on that share button also if you have any comments that you'd like to make go ahead and leave it in the um comments box below low divas and if need be i will endeavor to get back to you as soon as i can um what else what else what else i think that's it divas remember that you my divas are the daughter of the most high king so i want you to walk with your head tall you stand tall you are beautiful you are fabulous you're gorgeous you are beautiful for your situation you are unique divas don't let anyone tell you otherwise remember that you are the child of the most high king and you should carry yourself as such all right, my divas. All right, then. Until next time, stay fabulous, stay beautiful, stay on fleek. Remember, Jesus loves you. And I, Grace Face Squizzit, I love you too. See you next time, darlings. Love you, loves me. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.